What else do we know about the Yana Syndicate? Top flight arms dealers headquartered in St. Petersburg. First outfit to restock the Iraqis during the Gulf War. The head man's unreliably described, no photographs. The woman on the top is her only confirmed contact. Would you care for a drink? Thank you. Your predecessor kept some cognac in the top. I prefer the... bourbon. Ice? Yes. We pulled the files on anyone who might have had access or authority at Seven Eye. The top name on the list is no friend of yours, I understand. Oromov. They made him a general. He sees himself as the next Iron Man of Russia, which is why our political analysts rule him out. He doesn't fit the profile of a traitor. Are these the same analysts who said the Golden Eye couldn't exist? who said the helicopter posed no immediate threat and wasn't worth following? You don't like me, Bond. You don't like my methods. You think I'm an accountant, a bean counter, more interested in my numbers than your instincts. The thought had occurred to me. Good. Because I think you're a sexist, misogynist dinosaur, a relic of the Cold War, whose boyish charms, though wasted on me, obviously appeal to that young woman I sent out to evaluate you. Point taken. Not quite, 007. If you think for one moment I don't have the balls to send a man out to die, your instincts are dead wrong. I have no compunction about sending you to your death. But I won't do it on a whim, even with your cavalier attitude towards life. I want you to find Goldeneye, find who took it, what they plan to do with it, and stop it. And if you should come across Uramov, guilty or not, I don't want you running off on some kind of vendetta. Avenging Alec Trevelyan will not bring him back. You didn't get him killed. Neither did you. Don't make it personal. Never. Bond. Come back alive. 